All right, it's a beautiful Wednesday morning and it's time now to talk sports on TVC Breakfast uh, where we are going to be reviewing, I beg your pardon, previewing the first semi-final game that will come up later today between Senegal and Burkina Faso. Well, the semi-final games of the Africa Cup of Nations in Cameroon begin today as Burkina Faso and Senegal go, uh, go head-to-head -head for a place in the final at the Amajo Ahijo Stadium. And both sides who were beaten finalists in 2013 and 19 will head into the game desperate, desperate to get one over the other as they seek to conquer the continent for the first time ever. Burkina Faso will be delighted with their performance so far at the Africa Cup of Nations as they have turned in a performance of the highest quality and made, uh, made it to the last four against the odds. After suffering 2-1 defeat at the hands of host Cameroon in the tournament's curtain raiser on January 9, Kamo Malo's men bounced back to winning ways four days later when they saw off Cape Verde 1-0 courtesy of uh, a solitary strike. Well, our correspondent, me and Ami, uh, me and Akiri is, uh, is live there in uh, the Amadu uh, Stadium uh, in Cameroon to give us updates. And uh, also, I'm going to be having uh, Sam Soji live from London. Uh, we all uh, look at the game coming up today and later tomorrow. Well, uh, Sam Soji, uh, let me start with you. Senegal will be to reach the Africa uh, uh, Cup of Nations final a second time in a row and win it for the first time but they must overcome Burkina Faso. What's your take on that game? Yeah, good morning. Thanks for having me. Yeah, it's been a very, as you said before in your openings, it's been a very good standard and, and, and Senegal stayed well and hopefully they can do it. They've been uh, knocking it off for a long time and hopefully, yeah, um, they do it this time and they got good players and uh, it shows to you once you got consistency you can win stuff in, in football and i think they're doing well hopefully they can win it well in 2013 burkina faso were runners-up in 2017 they they placed third what kind of threat do you think that opposed to senegal's ambition a lot a lot of threat because they got the players they got players playing for good clubs and uh, they got structure going on and they got players coming through as well and and then um, they got a season that, that, that they play that, that the old players believe in so yeah they, they they're gonna hold lots of threat uh, uh threat against any group um hey boy it's gonna be a good game and we've had uh, some couple of good games in, in this tournament and this is gonna be one of them all right, Sam Soji, I'm going to ask you to uh, um, hold on and let me talk to our correspondent, me and Akiri, who is live at the, uh, at the Amadou Ahijo Stadium in Cameroon uh, to give us updates. Uh, well, me and um, tell us what is the atmosphere like at the moment? How are both sides pre pre uh, preparing for the game today? Well, That uh, for fans of them, they will have a electrifying feeling and act better. Take a look at uh, the stallions of Burkina Faso. It's been some form of mixed feeling for their football fans, knowing fully well that um, in their capital, Ouagadougou, it's not been the best of times. Um, during the press conference with the media yesterday, the head coach of the side, Kamu, quick to say that they want to make up for their fans back home in Burkina Faso. It's been um, some form of political unrest in the capital where the president was indeed outside. And that at this stage, they're saying they want to use football to unite every fan of Burkina Faso. But then, if you take a look at the camp of the Senegal Lions of Senegal, they are favorites on paper, and their fans are talking to us here in Cameroon. One man we should focus on is Aliou Sissé. Aliou Sissé was there with the All right. Uh, uh, unfortunately, we couldn't get the, um, uh, I mean, better 
uh, audio quality from uh, Cameroon there. But uh, we'll bring me and back again during our bulletin at 1 p.m. to give us further updates on that. But let me go back to London now, where Sam Soji is uh, standing by. Well, Sam. Mane has been instrumental in Senegal's run at this tournament so far. Can he pull them across the line? Oh, yeah, hopefully he can because he's been a good player for a couple of years now and he's, he's, he's played well for Senegal, he's played well for Liverpool and um, all of, of the pitch, he's been a good professional. So, you know, he's that kind of player that everyone just likes and um, um, from the way he's performed, even when he got injured, he came on and scored a goal. Um, he's been a very good player for Senegal, so I think he's going to pull up um, a surprise again, and hopefully he does because his um, his attitude towards the game, his uh, discipline, I think, um, is is worth to say that he he will make a difference. So yeah, we're looking forward to seeing him play again. And uh, um, you must also remember that Senegal hasn't won the Africa Cup of Nations at all, so there is enough motivation for them to go on and uh, reach the final as well as uh, win the Africa Cup of Nations. Well, uh, let's turn our attention now away from today's game. Egypt is also coming against uh, the host nation tomorrow. Uh, from what you have observed so far, the way both sides started um, in the tournament until this moment, how do you see this encounter tomorrow? Um, I, I think Egypt got shocked when, when they played us the first game. Um, they, they came into the tournament very confident. I, I heard them talk about how uh, they, they think they can win it. Uh, so they, they played the first game against us and they, they were very shocked. And they went back to the drawing board and they got themselves together and, and, and they got to the quarterfinals, uh, to the semifinals. So, yeah. Um, it's going to be a very good game, and Cameroon has been flying. You know they've um, had a home support with the uh, Etu uh, supporting them so well. They've had a good game all through, so it's going to be a very tough game. But um, um, I I see you know a shock in, in that game as well. All right, uh, Sam Soje. Um, live from London. We well, thank you very much indeed for sharing your thoughts with us, and of course the. Uh, um, me and Akiri also uh, talking to us live from uh, Cameroon. Thank you very much indeed, gentlemen.